Hello everyone, Espen here, and today I'm going to be making a video on uh, on the Halloween Cube Defense event, because it's a game I really enjoy. And uh, I also need to, I also want to say some stuff, because, and eh, probably not a lot of videos on this game, but just some like general information for uh, this and what I've done so far. Um, so paths 1 and 2 are uh, quite easy. You can do them on your own, as of right now. Like, I'm going to say this as of right now, because I don't know if anything's going to change in the future. But as of right now, paths 1 and 2 are, you can solo them. It's pretty easy. Paths 3 and 4, path 3, I beat solo once. I beat it once, and I don't know if you can beat it, it's like, solo for sure. But you can beat it solo, because I beat it once. But it's really hard, solo. Path 4, I wouldn't try solo. I didn't try because it's got two pathways. But with two people, as long as you just like choose both choose one side and get decent towers and use good strategy, should be fine for paths 3 and 4. Paths 5 and 6. Um, I've, I beat path 5 all along. Path 5 is pretty easy to do on your own. When the Twin of Destruction and Healing come, you're going to want to put your towers on last so you can get the Twin of Healing first. And then go after the Twin of Destruction, and you should get the easy win. But, uh, Path 6, I don't really know how easy Path 6 is. I tried beating it solo. It took me a lot of tries. I didn't beat it yet. But that one shouldn't be too difficult if you have more people. Uh, Path 7, which you can get to from this little area down here. You just gotta go, like, right here and then press Dive. You can get to Path 7 as of right now, because I noticed something kind of weird when I was playing Path 7. As of right now, you can solo this. I beat both of my things alone. But something weird that I noticed was when the people were coming on the track, I don't know if it was because I was playing alone or anything, but some of them just disappeared. Like I saw Great White Shard just vanish. And then another thing, just like things were like maybe one out of every five to ten things just like disappeared so I don't know if you will be able to solo that one but you can right now path 8 uh, yeah I don't think you can solo that one path 9 I also don't think you can solo that one mainly because they're multi path this one has three different areas you have to defend and this one has two and this one you lose HP and you probably don't have enough money anyway path 9 you, uh, yeah path 9 is just not I don't think it's doable Path 10, though. You can be Path 10. You just need pretty good RNG. Like, uh, Poseidon's Tomb, Orbital Satellites, and the uh, Echo Cannons, I think. Should get you set to just destroy that. Where'd my mouse go? Oh, it's because of the controller thing. Okay. Oh my gosh. Come on. Okay. I've been speaking a lot. So, uh... I'm going to tell you some regular good towers, and then I'm going to tell you some good towers for the regular things. Uh, Mounted Minigun is only good probably because I have the Paragon. I wouldn't use it otherwise. Sun Temple. Sun Temple, I have mixed opinions on this. Um, it does pretty good against like bosses and stuff. It's definitely not the best thing in my opinion here. But I mean, it's, all, it's, a, it's a decent choice. Orbital Satellite. Orbital Satellite is amazing. Uh, takes out a lot of the little cubes, which is a prominent thing in this event. There's a lot of little cubes that have low HP, or relatively low HP, so this is going to be pretty good. Poseidon's Tomb is amazing. Having the Paragon, you don't need the Paragon. I have it. You don't need it. You do not need it. Actually, I don't recommend using the Paragon. The only time I've ever had enough money was on Path 10, and uh, using the Paragon got me killed. So Poseidon's Tomb is a great choice. Rail Miniguns. Rail miniguns are so good. Like, unbelievably good. Not, like, better than Poseidon's Tomb and the Orb of Satellites, but, like, for a tower, they do so much damage at Chain of Bullets because of the crit. This is a very good tower. Now, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, submarines are alright. Railguns? Uh, I wouldn't say they're as good as the rail miniguns, but... I mean, they're all right to use if you have them. Anti-cube defense, 
pretty good, but I wouldn't use them unless you're like on path 10 with the little uh, Dark Lands people. And, um, oh, stars, stars. So, stars are decent, but I don't think they're well equipped for this. Because despite the, uh, despite the bosses that have really high HP, I didn't, I never got a star in Path 10, so I wouldn't really know. But, um, I used one, I used them on Path 5, and they would target the, the destruction, the Twin of Destruction first. So, the reason they're not that good is because they do a ton of damage, but they have to charge up. And there's a lot of things that just disable the charge. And they cost quite a bit to get if got a destruction. And that's the only part where they become actually like really good. So that's like limited use. If you have a boss that you just want to like shred and that's the only thing left, then yeah, stars are pretty good. But if you don't if there's a ton of little enemies and you don't have that much money, stars are not gonna be the main thing you want to use, frost rails, which I don't have. Frost rails are super good. Path 4, fro uh, I used frost rails. They, The boss, all the cubes just didn't move. Path 5 and 6, uh, actually I don't know about those. But path 7, path 7, if you use the echo, like orbital cannon things, and then you use the frost rails, you can win that way as of right now. It's mostly just RNG based. What I used to beat Path 10, which is probably one of the most difficult ones that I beat on my own, it is. I used. For one game, I used Poseidon's Tomb and the Echo Cannons. Just like get Poseidon's Tombs all up to max. You're gonna wanna get them up and then build them up to max and then. Or maybe before, like at Static Arc, you place down your Echo things and then get them to max. And then go over on to upgrading the Echo Chambers. Or you can just use Orbital Satellite and Echo Cannons. There's probably like a million other things. You just have to be pretty smart with how you upgrade things. How you spend your money. It's, oh, this event's just a lot of their strategy. and you, I believe that you can do, really do a lot of these on your own if you're just really smart. So, uh, I mean, yeah, just keep trying. And the little bush things. These bushes, they're kind of, I mean, they're kind of annoying, but they give a lot of, we give a lot of stuff. Where is it? Bush 1 and Bush 2. They give 1,000 in total. Bush 1 is going to be one of these little bushes, and uh, you can push them around the map. I think it's one of these. I don't know. It's one of these little cubes. You can push them around the map, so be careful. Um someone might legit have just launched it to the next realm and bush 2 is right here so you can get a free thousand candy that way path 0 which is these little houses that spawn give literally nothing but candy but I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend doing them that much because if you ring on the doorbell they only give you like what 9 candy it is quite slow so uh, I wish you guys um, the best of luck, and I hope you have a great day. Hope I uh, did something to help you out. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.